Anyways, here's the process. If we want to evaluate for this limit, um, one thing that we can do is take each one of these, each one of our values, and divide it by our variable with the highest, um, highest power in our denominator. So I'll use a different one here. So you can see in our denominator, we have x to the first power. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide every value by x, x to the first power. So I just want to show you this works for these as well as for the ones that we're going to use this for. Now, let's evaluate the way the limit as x approaches infinity. Now again, as x approaches infinity, we're just looking at numbers that are getting larger and larger and larger, right? Well, first of all, that divides out. So that's equal to 2. 1 over x, well, as this keeps on getting larger and larger, this is going to approach 0. That was that rule that I erased that was right up there, right? 1 over x over x is going to equal to 1 plus 0. So therefore, you get 2 over 1, which equals 2. So remember, whenever you have a number divided by a variable raised to 